Hello, everybody. It's Alex here, and we're back again for episode number 15 for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So in the last one, I can turn on my little hero's path thing again. In the last one, um, we finished off in Zora's Domain and then came down to the Great Plateau and made our way south uh, by Lake Hylia, the Lake Tower, and then into Farron to this tower. And that's pretty much all we did um but yeah so this one we're going to continue to explore i have no really like set thing in mind that i want to do but i think i'm just going to continue forward into Farron and maybe over this way and see if there's anything that's interesting we could find um but yeah and then eventually we'll get to the other side of the map which i know we have not yet encountered anything in haven't been to I just jumped right into this fight without really meaning to. Without really like thinking about what I was doing. Um, do I have anything? My weapon selection's not great right now. At least the flame blade is a one-handed, so I can still use a shield with it. Ow. I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking in the last one too that there's an area over here where it thunderstorms all the time. Um, and I was confused because I got to the tower and it wasn't thunderstorming. But I really thought that it was here. Maybe it's further to the mighty thistle. Attack power, okay. Maybe it's further in. I haven't been yet. Any structure things. Ooh, a durian. That's another thing where you increases your it gives you bonus hearts when you cook it and then eat it. I seem to recall. Am I going the right way? Yeah. There's like a big open lake over here. With this, where's a shrine? Okay, let's go find the shrine. There's like a waterfall thing here. I seem to remember the shrine being like behind one of these waterfalls too. Okay. Well, I'm not going the right way anymore. Oh, I guess it's this way. This way? Is it... Can I go behind this one? I guess not really. Where is the shrine? Like, there's nothing here. Unless it's... Oh, I think there is another stable over here. You know what, I'm going to start back up at the tower again and glide over because I don't want to swim and climb. This, I feel like, will be faster. Okay, so where was I going? It was like down here-ish, I think. Just get across the river uh, this way. There's a road or something. Is the road on the bottom of the cliff or up here? I think it's at the bottom, but I'm going to start up here. I'm just take these monkeys out. Oh, it died. <laughs> or that was the red one, I guess. Ow. Oh, there's a black macabre one too, and it has a spear. That's scary. Yeah, yeah, come and get me. Did I not freeze the thing? Oh well. Goodbye. Ready. 
So yeah, that's the sound that she makes whenever Mephis Grace finishes uh, resetting. But yeah, let's keep on going. I bet you the spear is half decent. Yeah, it's pretty good for a spear. Typically, spears have um, lower attack power than swords, um, but what they get is faster like ability to actually attack and um, longer range instead. Why am I not going around this tree? I guess I can't burn the chest. Hero. Um, this chest looks metal. I'm just going to bring it to me. I think sometimes that I and maybe other people all tend to forget in this game is like... Ooh, that's not terrible. It's only 18. Eh, it's probably not the best. What do I got? Um, something that two people tend to forget in this game is that like Magnesis and stuff are moving around metal chest and blah 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 blah. Uh... I don't want to get rid of the spear, though. Hmm. I guess I have to. Uh, you can Magnesis them outside of shrines and whatnot. Like, you don't have to be in a shrine to, like, use Magnesis and stuff. Uh, but I remember when I played it the first time, I kept- I constantly forget that you could use Magnesis and Stasis- Magnesis and Stasis, like, in the overworld as well as in shrines and not they weren't just meant for shrine puzzles yeah yeah there is a stable here but where is the shrine that goes along with it because every stable has a shrine i'm stuck uh... I really need to start bringing a horse out and helping me wander around. Maybe I will after this one. Because I just haven't done that yet. Oh, here's the thunderstorm. We've made it. If you look in the bottom right, it's just thunderstorm forever. Which means I need to stop wearing anything that's metal. Okay, that's a wooden spear. Uh, that's a wooden bow. And I think that shield is... Oh, no, that's a wooden shield. Um, is any of my worn equipment metal? I don't think so. I'm going to put the hood back on, though. Huh. I think the shrine is up there, up the cliff a bit, but I can't really climb very well because it's raining. I guess we'll put the climbing headwear back on. Um, so in this area, it thunderstorms permanently until you complete this, like... I think it's either a shrine or a side quest or something. Um, I forget the exact specifics of it. Um, and I also forget exactly where it is, but... How am I going to make it up? Oh, okay. I moved out of the thunderstorm area. So I think I can climb up here without it being wet and raining and annoying. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's still making me slide down. This leaf is just obstructing my entire view. We're almost there, I think. Please make it. Oh, good. Barely, 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 barely. Okay, but where is the shrine? That's definitely a Korok seed. Oh no. Oops. I didn't realize that I would just fall into this bog. Can I Cryonis over this? Yeah, okay. Easy. Easy solution. Ba -da 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 -da! Bye bye. 
So there's like... Ah! That thing. This, whatever this is, has to do with the side quest. For, um... Where did I ping it? This up top here has to do with the side quest for getting rid of the thunder. But I remember it being difficult to get up here because you can't climb anything in the rain. Um, so I think you have to go up this waterfall and make it around. Um, but let me find whatever this shrine is and I will go do that afterwards if I'm able to. Where is the shrine? I don't remember. I have a vague memory of this being a hidden shrine. I don't want to go over there because it's going to start raining again. Um, is it up even higher? Where is this thing? I also remember there being a Lionel up here somewhere. Up like along this ridge. Maybe it's on this part. Or maybe it's over here. Hmm. I don't want to fight a Lionel right now. I'm not equipped for it and it took me way too much time and resources to do it the first time. But I want to find the shrine. I'm just going to walk back into the thunder and lightning. Or not. Where am I? I'm so confused. Where is the shrine indicator telling me to go? Like in, in zero direction. <laughs> I'm not going to make it up this, am I? Okay. Uh, this way? Okay, I guess this way. I'm like s trying to follow the shrine indicator, but it's not... Indicating me in any direction. Oh, I fell. Oh, here. Ugh, it's down at the bottom. All that wandering around for nothing. There it is. There we go. Okay, halt the tilt. Oh, this will be a stasis shrine. Like, this is probably gonna... Yeah. Easy. And I should be able to cancel it. Yeah, it makes the cooldown shorter. What do I got in here? Anything good? I guess it's not terrible, but is there anything worth getting rid of it for? Getting rid of for it? Uh, not really, eh? Unless I get rid of the axe or something, but I'll get rid of the axe. I haven't really used it much. And besides, I can always use bombs to fell trees. Um, I guess I gotta do this. Yeah. Uh, now what? This looks like a relatively short shrine. Is there a chest up there or something? I can't tell. Oh, I see the issue here, because this is just gonna... yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, there is a chest up there. I was like, is there nothing else in this... Ugh. Ow. Uh... How do I get up there, then?
I'm confused. Can I use... Because this chest was metal, right? I wonder if I can use this to help me. As like a step stool or something. Oops. Not like that. There we go. Come back, chest, please. I wonder if I can use it as like a weight. Like this naturally wants to fall this way, right? Mm. Like if I weighted this thing down by leaving the chest there, it should stay, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, but then how do I get up there? Unless this chest is not metal, right? Oh, I know how. I know exactly how to do it. I need to let this thing launch me. I wonder if this will work. Oh, that didn't quite work. Um, would it be better if I was on... Oh, hold on. Why don't I just... Don't even bother with the chest. Uh, oh wait. I want it to be this way and then stasis it. Alright. Uh, oh, I guess it's not going to launch me because I am standing on it. <sighs> what am I supposed to do here? Uh, okay, I guess that's the right idea. <laughs> but I feel like I want it to go this way, actually, so it'll watch me forward. I seem to go higher. Yes. Oh, not quite high enough. Um... This chest probably has nothing valuable in it either. Not f uh. Uh, I'm annoyed again. standing further, but I want the chest to be... Yeah, okay. I stand further back. I want the chest to be higher and still on the thing. Oh, I made it! Yay! I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Ancient core! Okay, that was worth it. I need, what, one more of those to upgrade stasis now? I think. And we're done. How many uh, spirit orbs do I got now? Is that just two? Since I last did it? Yeah, just two. Okay. Um. Okay, I wanted to check how many ancient cores I have, because I think I need three to upgrade stasis. And I had zero. Yeah, okay, I, have to, I need to find one more. Um, so now, I guess, I want to try to 
get up there. Because I'm quite certain that little, like, rock thing I pinged up there is... Off the top of my head, the spot you need to go to stop the permanent thunderstorm. Which is not even happening right now. <laughs> I'm so confused by the weather. Like, it's supposed to be thunderstorming right here, right? 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 I don't know. If it's not, I'm okay with that. It's less dangerous for me. Oh, hi! Actually, why don't I just... If you're gonna be there giving me an updraft, I can just... Oops. Bullet. Oh, it's gone. Well, that's sad. And I dropped my bow, too. <laughs> Did I really just lose the bow because I got electrocuted? By this thing. Ow! That's not for... Mm. Okay, we're getting out of here. I just used a hold me for grace on the fact that there's a big electric dragon shocking me. One more try. Oh yeah, I don't have a bow. Oh my goodness. There we go. That sucks too, that was my best bow. And the only metal one, so I don't think I would have dropped this other guy. Oh boy. How far away is this balloon? Oh no, I overshot it. That was embarrassing. Okay, this one's got to be pretty high up, yeah? Yes! At least that last one only took one. <laughs> Let's go make our way up there. I mean, if you're gonna give me an updraft, I'll take it. Maybe? Oh, actually, I think I can take a picture of this thing. For my compendium. Not a bad picture of it. I think maybe it's this waterfall thing that has a shrine behind it. Although, I'm still a little confused by the lack of thunder and lightning. Oh, here it is. As soon as I say it, it comes back. You just get up here before the rain actually starts. Thank you. Wow, this sword is not good. holding something metal. It's the sword. As so you can see, everything that's metal is has this like sparky thing on it when I'm in a thunderstorm. Um, if I hold any of those... Yeah, we're good with my armor. If I hold any of those uh, while it's thunderstorming, I will get electrocuted and like insta-die. So let's get rid of that. Now what I'm wondering is if the Sora armor is metallic. Did that fish just jump at me? Interesting. Because if it is, I'm only going to be able to use it for a second while I try to get up the waterfall. Although it doesn't seem to be. I think we're okay. There we go. 
This is the only way up here because it's way too wet to climb any other way. Yeah, I'm even struggling to do this. Okay, how can I get the rest of the way up? Can I just kind of brute force it? Is that enough? Yeah. Okay, well, I hear the, like, accordion guy. Bum bum ba. And usually when he's around, he gives you, like, a story and a side quest. Is he on the top of this thing? No. But I'm fairly certain you need to, like, electrocute this spot. Oh, he's down there. Cass is his name, I think. Uh, very impressive. Not many can make it up here in such rain. That, that there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> Are you a bird? <laughs> Have you never met a Rito before? So Rito is one of the other races, like the Zora kind of fish people. These are bird people. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back calamity in age past. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? So what he does is he appears throughout the map and gives you these riddles through song, and they give you a clue as to um, completing a shrine quest or side quest or something. Uh, let's hear it. Excellent. Without any further ado. When a lost hero calls down lightning from the sky... The monk responds from a giant mound on high. So, I mean, the lost hero is clearly me. The lightning is this permanent thunderstorm. There's a puzzle in this somewhere, but as far as I can tell, it could apply to a great many of things. Anyway, may the light shine ever on your path. Um, so I need to get back up there. And it was, I remember it being an extremely long time in my original save file before I figured out this. Uh... And so every time I came here, it was always thunderstorming. So I like never explored this area because I hated it. <laughs> but I remember when I did it the first time, I like basically just stood here with metal armor and basically killed myself. <laughs> so I'm wondering if I can just like leave this here. Will it? Will it do it? Come on. I like saw it spark as I dropped the thing. Is it not gonna... Or do I actually have to let it kill me? Let me see, when it starts sparking, I'm going to drop it again. I mean, it should. This is a long time to be holding something metal and not being affected by thunder. Oh, there we go. You know what? Uh... Move! Yay! But yeah, if the thunder hits you like that, like, you dead. <laughs> you are dead. And I'm fairly certain when you complete the shrine, the thunder goes away. A Song of Storms, nice. I also seem to recall... Oh yeah, this is one of those ones where it's like, I did the quest for the shrine outside of the shrine. 
Um, I think that this chest gives you like an electric proof item. Rubber thighs. Yeah, yeah. So I wear that and it helps with electric durability. Nice. Okay, one more spirit orb and then we can get another stamina thing or heart vessel, but I think stamina for this one is probably a good idea. Yay, the rain is gone. Amazing. That's one benefit of having played this game once before, is even if it's been a while, I still remember some things like that. I don't remember why I specifically remember the details of that, this one shrine quest. Probably because getting rid of a thunderstorm is really, really helpful. Um, oh, it's, it's like, what is making that noise? But if I can kill the thing, it's going to give me good food. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, come on. It has to be over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just running away from me. Ah, it's going to take two arrows. Where did it go? Oh, whatever. I've ran around the shrine twice trying to chase, like, an animal. It's okay. Um... Okay, but there was another shrine behind one of these waterfalls, I think. Ugh. These choo choo show up everywhere. Yeah, yeah, shrine nearby. But where? It has something to do with the waterfalls here. I don't know if it's like down. Oh, I guess it's up this way. Yeah, yeah, I see the whiz rope. I'm choosing to ignore it. Is it behind this one? Oh, there's a little cave back here. A little walkway. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, behind the waterfall. Cool. Okay, what do we got in this one? Impeccable timing. Oh, I see. This probably launches that, right? Yeah. So I need it to end up in... I need it to end up in that thing, but this barrier is going to block it if I do it at the wrong time. So I guess we just... Cool. And then this one moves. It's going to be more tricky, I think. Okay, go. Oh, I missed the thing. Okay, go again. Oh, cool! Wow, that took... Oh, this just launched a chest at me. I was like, what just happened? What's he in here? Nice arrow. Um... Oh, did this one launch a chest at me too? I didn't even notice. Key. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Because I saw the locked door. Wait, is that it? Oh, I love when chest or when shrines take me like two seconds. I mean, I like the ones where I have to actually think and figure out what I'm doing too. But that one was a nice, easy shrine. Dun, da, 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 da. Nice. 
Okay, so... I'm trying to decide if I want to go... Yeah, I'm just going to go to... I think Kakariko is still the closest fast travel I have to a goddess statue. So I'm going to go here and then get my... I think we do a stamina wheel. And then come back to the shrine and start from here again. Okay. I always like coming back to Kakri. It almost feels like it's home. You know? I don't know. Even though, like, Link's house ends up being in Hatena, which I tried to start doing last episode, but I don't have nearly enough rupees for it. Um, but Kakri just feels like... Like, the home village. It's the first village you're supposed to go to. Um, do stamina vessel. Um... Like, it's where the game nudges you towards it after the tutorial. I mean, not that you have to go here first, but... It's like a safe area of the map. Nothing here is going to kill you. Cool. Okay, let's go back to where we were. I think I was... Yeah, behind the waterfall. Actually, I'm going to start up here, because I'm going to continue on in this direction. So let's go back to where the lightning almost hit me. But I blew up the earth instead. Alright. Um, I'm going to continue. Because there's a little village down here, I think. Maybe not quite there. Uh, I don't remember what the village is called, actually. But it's like a little fishing village that is kind of in a place in the map where it's like no main quest ever makes you go that way. So I know a lot of people, oh, it's raining. A lot of people tend to not even discover this little village until later on in the game. Uh, do I want to go that way? With the like heart shaped lake. Uh, do I want to go this way? No, I'll do that another day. Let's continue going in this direction. This looks like a Yiga clan person. Hey! Oh, yeah. Step up, don't be shy. Check out my fine bananas. They're available to buy. So yellow, they'll make you yell oh and fresh, and you'll think there's a tree around the corner and they taste like a dream. He's talking like an idiot. Start up there. Okay, I'll buy one. These bananas are my pride and joy. Oh. Wait, you're actually selling? No, I don't want to spend 90 rupees on a banana. <laughs> well, then I hope you come back later. That is, lies as slippery as... Yeah, okay. I was like... Was he actually going to sell me bananas? Ow. Well, not a good start. Aye. Okay, I need a better weapon than this for this. Alright, I hit him. Bye bye. Nice. And that's why electric attacks are so useful because they just. They, first of all, prevent the attacker from doing anything. And they also drop their, like, metal equipment. Like weapon and shield. Um, regular arrow? Yeah. Well, what was I doing? <laughs> I'm still not very good at aiming with this bow and arrow. It also just occurred to me that I said I was going to try to take a horse out, and I never did. <laughs> Uh, I can talk to these people. Famous place. I started talking to myself there. Just thinking about a place called Lover's Pond. That's literally the heart-shaped lake. I was just like, I just sh looked at it at the map. They say it's to the south, and I think I saw it on a map once. It's literally heart-shaped, which was surprising to me, but I don't know what I expected. It's just telling me that there's a place to go up there. Uh, yeehaw! Let me share a little spinch wisdom with you. 
If you want to take down monsters while riding on horseback, you've got to really practice your archery skills. <laughs> Thanks. And there's this book called I'm chasing this guy. Thanks. And what do you need? You saved my neck. Too bad I got nothing to pay you uh, back with my pocket lint. Oh, and this, I guess. Oh, okay. Oh. I went away from Lurellan Village. That's what the place is called. I uh, just up the road. The whole place stinks of cut-up bait and fish guts. Well, that's no life for me. I got to make a living as a scavenger, uh, fishing around Hyrule's rubble for neat stuff. Not much choice, really, since I uh, can't swim. <laughs> what a sad life. Lurellan Village. I don't even remember the name of it. It gets so insignificant in this game, other than it just exists. Like, no major character is there. Uh, no major quest takes you into there. And if I recall, I remember correctly, there's like hardly any side quests that even start there. It's just, it's just a place on the map that exists for no other reason other than just to exist. But it's pinging me to the, the shrine for this village. Yeah, it's over there. Um... I remember it being like a Bokoblin camp up here, though. I think. Yeah. Let's see if I can get better at this aiming thing. Not at all. Oh, he sees me, really? <laughs> that one hit him, but still didn't kill it. Bye. Man, these black bacalbums are becoming more common. Probably because they completed a Divine Beast. So I know when you progress further in the game, the enemies start to scale up a bit. So like... There's a couple different tiers of enemies. There's red, which is the weakest. And then there's blue, which is the next uh, the next weakest. Um, and then there are, um, is black. And then there's white. I haven't seen any white enemies yet in this playthrough, but they'll be stronger than the black ones. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage from this fight. Ow, I didn't quite make it up there. Uh, there's white enemies, and then beyond white enemies, there's gold. But gold only appears if you have the DLC and you play in master mode. So I've never encountered a gold enemy, but if you go... Um, so, like, Lynels have that same type of progression as well. But you saw how much I struggled just with the red Lynel. So you can imagine in master mode when you start to encounter uh, gold Lynels. That's when you really... I have to be good at this game. Where's the last guy go? Okay. Is that it? Didn't I already? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's goodbye. I thought I heard another Bokoblin make like a grunting noise, but I guess not. Okay, the shrine for the village is just over this cliff, and the village is right there in front of me. Yarin. 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 <laughs> Okay, a weighty decision. Yes, okay, I understand. I need to get rid of this block. And I think put it on the other side, because this is like a giant scale. And it should. Yep. Mm. 
<laughs> Bye. That's a metal chest, right? So I can just magnesis it over this. Sometimes the puzzles are like not difficult at all. I find it so funny that when Link encounters a chest that's like on its side, he just kicks it and it opens. What can I get rid of? Knight's broadsword. How do you use this thing? It's a two-headed weapon, okay. I don't like leaving... Let's drop the sledge and we'll get another one later. I don't like leaving chest items. I'm leaving the guardian sword on the ground because I don't really have a good use for it. How do I get... Huh. That's funny. I think we're supposed to use this chest as pressure plate button thing. Or I guess I could have just taken the block from the scale at the beginning and brought it all the way over here, but that works too. Um, maybe I am supposed to get the big block. Okay. I guess I need it. Bring it all the way over there. Sometimes shrines just expect you to use the resources you find at the beginning and bring them with you. Like this. So like if I didn't use the chest in there, I would have had to bring this block over and put it over the, this fence and use this to take the pressure plate down. Um, I am actually going to leave it over there for a second. Now I can use it for this. Okay, so there's two scales here, right? I wish I'd have done this the other way. Is this gonna... Yeah. I should be able to then put it up on this one. Cool. And get up here. And get up here. Okay. <laughs> Opal. That's okay. Now I need to do it the other way to get up to that platform. I don't know about you guys, but it's like, I absolutely refuse to finish a shrine until I've at least seen all of the, oh, all of the chests in it. So I have to do like all the extra puzzles in that too before I can leave. There we go. That's it, nice. But as long as I get to the end and I know I've opened like one, maybe two chests throughout the shrine, I'm quite confident that I've hit them all. Bum, ba -da -da -da. Oh, one. I was like, oh yeah, I just turned in four. How many shrines did I do this episode? Like four, maybe five? More than I was expecting to. I was just going to like walk around and make it over here. I guess we're almost done, actually. It's been 52 minutes. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go into Lorellan. I think that might be Lorellan Village. I think that might be it for this one. But yeah, here's a little village that exists for no reason at all. Other than just to be here. Although I do like the music. Here we are, Lorellan Village. The one village that everybody forgets exists. And to be honest, 
There are three major villages that I haven't been to yet, and then actually a fourth one if you include, I think it's called Terrytown. What is this place? Place your bets. Uh, but I was saying, I find it amazing that I made it to this village before those other three, but yeah. Psst, come on here, no closer. I'd like to be rich without uh, having to work for it. <laughs> hey, simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? Uh, the idea is... I missed something you said. The idea is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. Uh, don't come crying to me if you pick the wrong one. Before you go opening any boxes, you'll have to show me it's worth it to you. What's a bet, after all? If you don't stand to lose a bundle on it, that's the part that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in, but the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you have busted expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash right here right now, am I right? What do you say? All you've got to lose is your pride and your money. You know what, let's try it. How much are you betting? Let's just, let's go with 50 to start. Looks like something ready to make some real money. So do I just pick one? There we go, sir. Take your chances. Take all the time you need to choose a chest. Uh, look, listen, smell, taste. Taste them if you think it'll help. Uh, is there any way to, like, know which one? Or is it completely random? Pray to Lady Luck. Okay. And what a load of hooey. Uh, let's go with the one right in the middle. Ooh! Does that mean I won? Because that's more than I bet. Nice, fine. See what comes uh, comes to those who bet big? You're going to keep going, right? Or do you admit defeat? Uh, no, I'm going to stop gambling right now. Fair enough. Every good gambler knows it's time to walk away. I'm always in here in case you feel like you're trying your luck again. Okay, I actually didn't know this existed. But yeah, little fishing village. Let's just kind of... I'm going to casually just explore little huts before we finish the episode and just see if there's anything else worth it in here. And then if not... Oh, you're asleep. I guess it is 1.15 in the morning. Um, okay, let's sleep then. Yeah, I know. I meant to sit by the fire, yeah. No, I don't want to examine the fish. I want to sit by the fire. Why won't you let me... Now I'm on fire, okay. I just want to sleep till morning, man. Ooh, that one fish is gone. Ugh, I give up. I'm gonna sleep in the inn. Palmford. Yeah, you want to stay? I'll just do a normal bed for now. Uh, go till nudes in the middle of the day. Oh. Did you sleep well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna spend like a minute to talk to the other people in this town, and then if nothing piques my interest, we'll end the episode there. And we'll end it there anyway, because it's been an hour. But... This girl is probably not even in this hut anymore. And she's like, where'd my fish go? Because I burnt one of them, I think. Oh. These fish look delicious. I caught them myself. Have you gone sailing with a raft? Uh, no. That's where we like blow a Korok seed. Uh, wind is critical getting around at sea. Fishermen I have learned after years of experience to predict and use the wind to control our ships. Oh. However, I've heard there's an object like a Korok leaf that will help you control the wind yourself. Yeah, okay. This, I think, is the general store. It's like a fishing hut. Yeah, you can buy octo balloons. Other fish stuff. Oh, we get shock arrows here! Okay, so, word of advice to everyone who is uh, listening to me right now. Um, come here before you do the Divine Beast in Zora if you can't kill that Lionel. Because you can buy shock arrows here, and it's not ridiculously far away from the rest of the map. Like, you just have to... 
Let's say I'm in Hateno, you can probably make your way over this mountain and come down this way. Like it's right there. Or make a, a way around the cape or something. Um, but yeah, I'm quite certain there's nothing else overly exciting in this little area. And it's been a little while. Ooh, there is a side quest. Okay, here are traveler fishermen in this village, but we're a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have been taking over the best fishing spots. Used to be to pull in a good haul at Aeris Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. You think you'd go take care of them, sure. Remember, it's called Aeris Beach. The monsters have set up shop there. Stay sharp. I don't know where that is. Is that over here? No, oh, it's down this way. Okay. We'll do that next time. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there because it's been a bit an hour. So as always, thank you for watching, everybody. And we'll see you in the next one. Alrighty. Bye-bye. <laughs>